Hello everybody, Mr. Storm here, and welcome back to Final Fantasy XIV Heavensward. In the last episode, we continued working on side quests here in Camp Tailfeather, as well as advancing the main story a little bit as we um, encountered some patrols of Nath, uh, as we advanced around the, uh, the road that will eventually lead us um, to Dravania and the Dravanians that we want to go ahead and get in contact with to see if we can't engage in some sort of diplomatic dialogue here. And there's obvious, you know, friction between Ysail and Estinian, as one would imagine. So, we're going to be continuing to work uh, here on uh, side quests and also trying to advance the main story a little bit um, for today. So, we... Return the reports to um, Marsachamp, I think it was his name. The the kind of head of this uh, this little town here, this camp, and then he has sent this out to go ahead and help the various you know out camps with whatever problems they have. So I think that's going to go be what we do next. So let's go ahead and ride back out there and pick up those quests. We also have been working with this novice hunter, um, uh, Mikote. And we'll be working on that a little bit as well. I'm gonna try and capture a chocobo. All right, so here is Leonulf. And what are you gonna give me? You're gonna give me some gloves. Striking gloves, good, good, we can use some gloves. All right, Leonulf is on lookout for buzzing bugs. The bugs I mentioned earlier, God's damn feather fleas. They got suckers a yom long and love the taste of chocobo blood. Been wondering what to do about them. I managed to drive them away whenever they come near our birds, or I managed to drive them away whenever they come near our birds, but there doesn't seem to be an end to the buggers. I'll go into the forest and squish them myself, but then leave the chocobos defenseless. Say, why don't you kill a few of them in my stead? If you could put down four or so, you'd have my thanks. Ah, another one who knows precisely how many of them I need to kill to end their problem. Um... That's fine. I can kill some of these bugs. Not an issue. And we have our first candidates right here. Four of them. Hmm. I think I see another one in the distance over there, so we'll head in that direction when we're done with this one. Yep, there it is. See, this is one of the advantages of doing these quests is that you get gear out of it. And we do the same thing through the, the previous, you know, part of the game, when we were first leveling, is that you, you'll be wanting to do quests for gear, but I think they kind of simplified and streamlined things a little bit more in the expansions 
And it's kind of more straightforward where you get gear. I mean, you... And what gear you get, and when, and that sort of thing, so... to get an extra one here. Yeah, so if you're doing all of the side quests as you progress, then you should be, you know, getting a level appropriate set of gear Oh, no. oh, we're just going to run past that one. I'm not going to worry about it. Uh, I think I'm heading the wrong direction. Yep. Yeah, as I was saying, you should get like a level appropriate set of gear, you know, on a pretty regular basis. Right now we're getting level 52 gear. We're level 53 already, but, you know, we should get it before we hit level 54. All right, I take it the fleas went down easy. I are quite a bug killer. The chugga was flying into a, fury, a flurry at the very sight of those blasted bugs, and it takes the better part of the day to calm them down. Thanks to you, we'll be able to sleep peacefully for a while. All right, so grab those wyvern skin gloves of striking. Equip those. And update my gear set. Alright, we're gonna head north to that camp. Why does the caged bird sing? I believe that is reference to a book by Maya Angelo, if I recall correctly. Okay. Gwenaret. You're going to be giving gloves, but not for anything we need. Alright, Gwenaret needs help calming a distressed chocobo. By the 12th, this chocobo just won't shut up. She's got no hurts as far as I can see, and a sick bird wouldn't make such a fuss. Which leaves just one possibility. I might have gone and verified my suspicion, but I'm not overly keen on leaving this bird while it's wailing away like this, could attract predators. Would you mind going? Here, lend me your map. I'll mark the place where we caught this bird. Chances are there's a nest nearby. If you find it, note what's inside and come back to tell me. Okay, so it may have a nest nearby with possibly chicks. We'll see. Not chicks, but eggs. There are eggs in the nest. All right. I'm not going to worry about that one. Uh, 
Now, just as I thought, this one's about to be a mother. There's no helping it then. As fine a bird as she is, she's got to go back to her nest. It's a rule of ours, you see. You can't catch a chocobo what's brooding. It don't matter that it's the finest specimen you've ever seen, or that you've been having a bad spell. Nay, whatever the circumstance, we've got to see beyond the present. Elsewise, we hunters won't have much of a future. Smart. Alright, so, on to the next camp. I believe this one was slightly out of the way to get to. Unless I missed the ramp to get up to it. Last time I was there. No, there's no way up there from here. So we will just roll past on here, follow this cliff face, until we find a way to get up there. And there it is. I'm betting that uh, this cam's concern may have something to do with those bander snatches that are right nearby. All right. All right, so he's in need of an adventure to do his fighting for him. Typical. God damn it, it's the third time this week. Blasted bander snatches keep snapping up the chocobos before we collect them from the traps. The blasted beast got a taste of chocobo meat, and now they won't stay away. Why, I seen three prowling nearby not a bell ago, waiting for an easy meal. If you were to get rid of them, might be as I'll make it worth your while. At least, that makes slightly more sense. You know, that he noticed a specific number in the area that he wanted to take care of. Alright, so, we'll kill three bender snatches. As I suspected. Alright, we need our chocobo out. Two down, one more to go. There's our target.
Piece of cake. Alright, so we just now need to find that ramp again, which I think is back this way. Let's go ahead and slip past these banners natches. Actually, I want to check ether currents here. We've only gotten one from quests, and not even half of the ones in the field yet, so... Right, you slew the beasts? Wonderful! Now the chocobos won't become bandersnatch fodder no more. To be fair though, the birds is, are perfectly capable of fending for themselves. They only fall prey to the bandersnatches because they were trapped. For that, I feel bloody awful. But thanks to you, the noble creatures won't meet such an unfit end no more. Okay, so no gear from that guy. Now, does anybody back in Tailfeather have anything for me? Nope. Okay. So we'll head on to Natural Instinct. We're going to go ahead and uh, spread these uh, Gasol greens that have been uh, enhanced with the stinky mushrooms to see if that helps hide our scent and help us catch a chocobo. Alright, Fragrant Greens. Alright, and then we go up here. There's a big old brown bear. Alright. There's uh, Kriyanta. What took you so long? I finished setting up my trap bell, my trap bells ago. So is the Gasol Green in its place? Indeed it is. I knew I could count on my partner. I hope he didn't taste any because I put a little something extra in my Gasol Greens. Sleeping powder. Once I check it falls from my trap, it will fall into a deep sleep. Genius. Did you hear that? Was that a chocobo cry? It was over the direction of your trap. Let's go, partner. Alright, so let's go ahead and see what we got. We got one sleeping chocobo. Can you believe it? It's a genuine, bona fide, drowsified chocobo. See? Hunting's easy. My plan worked perfectly. I'll take the chocobo back to Tailfeather. Partner, could you go and tell Lupard that I'm a real hunter now? I'm guessing it's probably not going to be quite that simple. But, before we actually head back to Tailfeather, we're going to head down this direction to do the next stage of the main story quest. Uh, the Trine Towers. Where we're, I think we're going to be surveying the Nath... Um, guess town or city? Their nest? Alright, let's see if we can avoid fighting the Avis. 
Alright, where exactly... Okay, let's have a bit of a ride. So we'll just follow the road, and we should get there eventually. home. Themselves pretty far over here, didn't they? Avalonia fallen. Okay, we're finally catching up with them. Here's your sail. Let's go ahead and have a chat. Let's see what we're up to. Tis I feared. The road ahead is teeming with Nath soldiers. Morse Somp did not exaggerate then. These beastmen have grown brazen indeed if they would threaten the dragons so openly. Do they intend to assault the lair itself? I pray they do not. Mighty though my Dravanian friends are, they are yet vulnerable to the Nath's muskets. There is no route save the one before us. Should the beastmen offer battle, we have no choice but to accept. Muskets. Alright, well, we got a purple circle up ahead, which probably means, well, almost certainly a fight. Let's go ahead. Get rid of these guys. Circle hasn't gone away. Are there more of them? Yep. Fire drone. Yep. He has a musket of some description. Or some sort of firearm. So we're going to have more enemies up ahead. Oh, there's an aether current. Well, oh, how convenient. Alright. More fire drones. Fortunately, these guys are pretty squishy. Alright, we're gonna have to probably kill that thing, maybe? We'll have to see. I'd rather not if I don't have to. There we go. The 
There's no real point to going after the the Aether Currents on the field or going out of our way to get them. Um, until we've unlocked all of the, the quest ones. Alright, here we are. I take no pleasure in killing a Nath. Twas to avoid bloodshed that I agreed to join you on this journey. Well, it cannot be helped. We may proceed into the courtyard together, but leave the task of hailing its occupants to me. And keep your lance on your back, Dragoon. On the word on my word to the war of light, I shall start no fight, only finish it. Oh, you truly are beyond salvation. Come then. Mistake thee for a nath. Tis well I chanced to look again, or thou wouldst now be ash. Dear Vidofnir, how I have missed you. Would that I had come sooner, and not out of dire necessity. Thou art troubled. Speak that I might know thy plight. Thou wouldst have father admonish his brood brother. I would end this war without further bloodshed. How am I to believe thee, little one, when thine own companion beareth Nidhogg's stolen eye? Have care, dragon. Or I shall gouge out one of yours. You forget yourself, sir. We are here on a mission of peace. My sires will forbiddeth me from inviting discord to our home. Tis for this reason and no other that thou still drawest breath, knight. Vidofnir, please. We must be allowed to convey our intentions to Resvalgar in person, with words of our own choosing. Grant us this favor, and open the way to Som Al. Thou hast ever been welcome, little one. But I cannot grant thy wish. I am bound to remain here, and protect my kin from the Nath's god. The Nath have summoned a primal. Pray excuse my forwardness, but if we were to eliminate the threat to your territory, would you consent to Lady Izal's request? Ha! <laughs> Dost thou imagine thyself equal to the task? To succeed where dragons have failed? Tis beyond thee, mortal, but thou art welcome to try, nonetheless. Only know that idle promises shall avail thee naught. It would seem we have no choice but to make good on Alphino's offer. <sighs> Why must our every bid for peace breed yet more war? All right, so the Nath has summoned a primal, so we're going to have to deal with that. And that would explain why they have become more aggressive of late. Okay, so we need Holy Rainbow Saruel of Striking. New pants. All 
All right, let's go ahead and put on the new pants. Starting to match again. All right, next. This hell seems occupied with thoughts of the Nath and their primal. Okay. So the Nath have summoned their god, and thus is the mystery of their newfound belligerence laid to rest. Are you not glad, Lady Iceheart? I thought you would applaud them for summoning a primal to further their own ends. After all, you did. I did not reach out to Saint Shiva to further my own ends. I desired her strength only to forge anew the peace between man and dragon. But what a fool I am to speak of peace to you, a bloodthirsty savage who murders without thought or compunction. Enough, enough. There's Alpha no there. Alright, I say, if the Nath have truly brought forth their deity from the Aether, you must face it together or watch our hopes fall apart. All now rests upon this primal's defeat. But ere we think of confronting it, we must first study its origins. What is the nature of this god? What manner of faith sustains its existence? My apologies. You are right, of course. Let us return to Tailfeather and consult with Marsashamp. He knows more than Nath and their culture than most. We will return to Tailfeather, but that big glowing Aetherite has my name on it, so we'll just go ahead and, uh, a tune. All right. So now that we can hop back over here anytime we wish, let's go ahead and head back to Tailfeather. And let's go have a chat with the hunters. First, because I think they have some new gear for us, if I remember correctly. All right, Lupard. How are you able? How uh, how are you in that wily Makote faring? You don't say. We want to actually bag the bird. I ain't never seen a hunter get a chocobo on their first outing. I guess what they say about Makote is true. Can't leave you, the unsung hero, without her bit of praise either. If things keep going this well, then we may not even need to find a partner. And yes, we get new boots. Wyvern skin boots of striking. Grab those. Now let's go ahead and put those on. Come on gear, equip. Update the gear set. There we go. So that should be well, everything but the headpiece. Well, we also need a new belt and some. Well, we got a ring. Well, that's offending. So yeah, we basically we need all new accessories as well. Okay, let's see what you have for us next. All right, boots, but for not us. The part has finally found a potential partner for Koyanta. Word of Koyanta's catch has been spreading around Tailfeather. Some say it's being his luck, but a few have expressed interest in joining with her to see a Makote hunt for themselves. I've taken the liberty of finding one I think might make a good match. He's a fresh arrived hunter that goes by the name of Gisol. I'm thinking we should have a little trial to see if he and our budding prodigy get along. Of course, I wouldn't be fool enough to let two greenhorns go out on a hunt unsupervised, so I need you to look after him. How about it? Are you keen to go out hunting with her again? Sure. With any luck, she'll be off having adventures of her own in no time at all. Any road, I see her leave. I seen her leave the encampment just a couple bells ago, off to the southeast. If you can find her, tell her to return to camp so we can get the introduction started. All right. Let me just give a quick check here. 
Okay, well, let's go ahead and talk with Marcechon. See what he has to say about the NAF, and then um, I'll probably call it a day there. Oh ho, back already, are we? Hmm, ah, I meant the NAF, did you? And what is it you'd like to... Summon the Primal, you say? Seven hells. Well, I don't know bugger all about Nath religion, if I'm honest. Beyond their trade and habits, there never seemed much point in asking. But it shouldn't be that hard to find out. From time to time, we bought her with a small hive to the north and west of here. Outcasts from the main tribe, from what I understand. I reckon they'd be willing to tell you a bit about themselves, if you give them the right incentives. That sounds promising. And what exactly would a Nath consider to be the right incentives? Oh, well, nothing your average hunter couldn't scrounge up in a day or two. But seeing as you're in a hurry, you might want to divide the chores amongst yourselves. You want a good-sized jar of land trap nectar, a basket of uh, kamom or kilum tree fruit, and always a Nath favorite, a generous portion of young Nanka flesh. I shall gather the fruit, leaping to the lower branches of these forest giants, should present a little challenge to me. Then I shall collect a nectar with Master Alphano's arcane assistance. And that leaves you to bring home the meat. You'll need to carve it from the smaller nunkas that live in the rivers. Three big hunks should be enough, I reckon. Once you've got everything together, you'll need to set it down at what we call the trading post. Here, I'll mark the, mark the spot on your map for you. You have been most kind, Master Marshal Chomp. Well then, let's, let us attend to our respective tasks and reconvene at the trading post. I need hardly add that the last one there is a rotten nunca egg. <laughs> Alright, well... We have to go uh, hunt some Nanka. Alright, we also need to track down Koyanta there. So, we'll get to work on that when we come back next episode. So, hope you guys enjoyed it. Thanks for watching. Go ahead, like, subscribe, and comment, and I will see you next time.